Alright. I have another uh, Nintendo Punch Out backboard. That's another 01 back. Uh, you can see it's missing some colors. There's no green. Let's see. Q3 and Q4. Maybe I just have a bad. Uh, Oh, there it is. Look. The color came back. So, what happened there? Let's see. Okay, we had a dirty color connection on the cable. So, that's good. All right. So, the... the the uh, prom was right, so now we just gotta figure out why we got such nastiness up on the screen. Here. Well, all of our uh, all of our backboard problems have been in the same area of the board here. It's always it's got something to do with the RAMs here, the RAM, you know, the RAM itself, or the, the signals that turn on the EPROMs for the backboard, or the, uh, or the counter. So, it doesn't look like counters to me. This looks like just a plain data problem on the backboard. I mean, I bet if I pulled these EPROMs, let's see, let's see, that 4D is out, 4C is out, and I think that's it. Those are the two EPROMs, 4C and 4D, on the backboard that do the top monitor. The bottom monitor is good, so 4A and 4B are fine. So it's either trying to access the data or... Uh, Or the RAM, you know, the, it's not getting to the RAM properly. Let's let me let me do some poking around. We'll come back and see if I can uh, if I can figure out the next step here. It's interesting. We got some of the some of the images right. Um, you know, we've got the the power bars here. We've got our two little guys halfway there. Class Joe's halfway there, and so is uh, so is the Challenger. So, all right, we'll be back in a few. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> that last board had a bad RAM at 3F. I've got another RAM sitting here. And we always got garbage on. I thought, you know, maybe maybe it's another RAM. See, there's something feeding the RAM or trying to get, you know, but the garbage is always on, which should it should just get turned off, right? So what I did is I took another six one one five or two one one five. And jumpered it. Hmm. And it cleans up the display what, during boot. You know, there was just random garbage behind that. This isn't quite right. But it does look better. There's Glass Joe and the Challenger. There's just some other garbage there. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to replace this uh, this RAM, and we'll see where we're at. I should probably show you. That's without the RAM. If I jump at the RAM, I get this. So it's much better. It's not perfect, but it's cleaner. I wonder if there's an easy way to check these RAMs. 
All right, we'll be right back after I replace this. Okay, I'm back. I pulled that ram and I'm soldering another one in. I thought I'd bring you back because, I don't know, do you guys enjoy watching chips be pulled and soldered back in? doesn't take too long but um, it can be a challenge sometimes to get a chip off the board you know the desoldering station is great if it's clean but if, if it's dirty and there's a bad filter in it or something it makes it a lot harder to pull a chip off all right that looks pretty good what would be the odds of having two backboards in a row the same same problem same ROM or same RAM it seems to go that way in repairs you know you, you, you do a bunch of things and you, you do a bunch of repairs or swap out boards and then you go back and repair them and the ones you couldn't figure out before or just set aside because you didn't have time to deal with it and all of a sudden boom they're all the same <laughs> the same repair it's interesting, most of them today have been like this, you know, they've been this RAM or access to the RAM, you know, it's all the top screen. Let me put you back up on the screen and we'll see what we got. Hopefully it's fixed, but you never know. Okay, let's power it on and see what we got. That looks good so far, no garbage in the background. Oh, Wonder Bar. That makes me happy. So we had two different boards with the same RAM bad. They looked different, but the same, same solution, changing that RAM at uh, 3F. You know, I've been, been repairing boards for 25 years now, and I've never changed one of those chips before. Maybe I shouldn't tell you that, but I've never had to change uh, one of these 8416s before. And they both failed in this in a, in a little different way. Anyway, I was just lucky enough to have about 10 of them. And it uh, looks like I need some more. <laughs> I bought them years ago to work on a, uh, a, a Mario Brothers and... Um, never used them because they, they turned out not to be bad. So, all right, if you like videos like this, uh, go ahead and, and hit the like button. And then maybe uh, if, you, if you're if you not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I have quite a few repair videos up, a lot of them on Punch-Out, a lot of Donkey Kongs. And, um, you know, the, you get to see my process. Um, and... You know, I look forward to, to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye now.